Rockstar, you know you want to sponsor me. Come on. Shout out to Gianni as well. Look at the stuff on the key rings. And that one. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Where the fuck's the car? Um. Well, this big truck wasn't here last time I come down here. Oh, there she is. I must say, everyone, this is actually the missus' new car. It's nothing to do with me, so... It's quite nice, though. I, I like the convertibleness in um, how warm it is at the moment with, like, 30-degree bloody heat. Pretty awesome, though, and that's where everyone saw that fantastic sticker collection on the back of her there, but I've now got to navigate myself into the car. This could be interesting. Ooh. So, yeah. Today's objective is to hopefully pick up a new daily. Obviously where the Cadillac's gone, um, and I have no other cars at the moment except for the Mrs. New Car, which is this convertible E46 BMW. I sort of want my own car, of course. I can't, you know, use hers. So it's time for a new daily. I've been wanting one of these for a long time and hopefully it's as good as I think it's gonna be. So fingers crossed, we're gonna go do, you know, a little bit of shopping, we'll come over on the red funnel, we're going into uh, Southampton where the car actually is anyway. So it's not too far away, which is nice. And tonight when the guy has finished work, uh, we're gonna go and have a look at it. Fingers crossed it's as good as I hope it's gonna be. And remember, this car is a daily. This is my daily car, so it's not you know anything ridiculous. I'm gonna be starting bringing it to shows. It's gonna have you know everything in the back of it, the clothing, you know, everything that's it's all good. So hopefully it's as big as I wanted it to be. <laughs> so I can fit a gazebo and stuff in the back and all the clothing and stuff. It's going to be economical enough, in my opinion, considering, you know, what I've had in the past. But hopefully, fingers crossed, it's not a shit because, you know, as a lot of people would know, you go and look at these used cars and it could be utter shit and you come, you know, all this way for no reason. And I've done it in the past where you get there and you're like, wow, this is absolute dog shit. So hopefully it's not one of them cars. Um, again, you've got to remember that this is the daily i might buy another car on the side just to have some fun in do some drifting do some you know whatever but hopefully this is a good one Of course, second one of the day. Right, so the key is in my pocket, so I'll just press. That. Is that right? Yeah, that is right. Yeah, ignition's on. So, guys, here we are in my new car. I uh, didn't really want to, uh, you know, video the buying process. It's a little bit daunting for the seller, don't get me wrong, but I've just driven the car two, three miles, um, you know, after the test drive, and I must say, what a car. I am over the fucking moon with this car, I really am. I have not, like, stopped with the biggest smile on my face since I, you know, sort of, well, caught eye of the car, really. Um, really, really impressed. It's a Lexus GS300. Which, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, I knew you were going to buy one of them, but it's the newer version. It's the, this one's a 2005, 2006, 55 plate. Um, top spec model with fucking everything on it. I literally got in and there's so many buttons and I'm looking at them like, what does everything do again? Because obviously I've had a run through of everything, but like the maps and it's, it's just madness. The thing I have not got used to at all is the keyless start and entry. This is the only car I've actually ever got in where, you know, I've I've had to get in and out of with keyless. I've driven cars with keyless, you know, start and keyless entry, but never really, you know, with actually using it as a car rather than just getting it, driving it, come back. So I've just come down from the boat. I've only had the car, you know, including the hours trip. I've had the car half an hour really because we drove straight to the boat, but. 
I am literally over the moon with this car. This is only my new daily. Like I'm gonna, put, you know, put some wheels on it. I'm gonna lower it and stuff and take it to all the shows. This is, you know, the car that most people will probably see at shows now. But the three miles I've driven, I put the cooling seats on because it's 32 degrees uh, today, and I just got a waft of cold air up my ass. <laughs> it was insane. I was like, what? This actually happens? That's insane. So, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. I'm a bit lost for words because I've always wanted one of these and they've always been too expensive and you know a lot of you will know I had the Aristo and I had the you know the GS 300s from you know the previous era and I loved them but I just wanted a newer version of that and this is exactly what this car is it's just the new version of that car fucking so excited it's so nice to just sit in like just all the buttons and 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 stuff is just mad I have no key, <laughs> no key at all. It's saying I can start it, so, sick. It just start like, what? <laughs> it just starts straight away, that's crazy. It's got so much on it, these cars. They're, the value for money is hilarious, they really are. So it's got sat nav, you know, maps and stuff, so it's running the 2016 maps on it, which is really good, that's all been updated. So really happy with that works as well because i've already tried the postcode and i've tried you know all little bits and bobs so that all works perfect it's got an unbelievable sound system it's got like a speaker and dash it's got a sub in the back like all the standard which is crazy it's got park assist that tells you exactly where your wheels are and like you know how far away you are from the car in front which is mad like all of this stuff is crazy to me and it's you know it's the gadgets that i get quite excited about in some cars and i've never been in a car this gadget orientated is insane and when you're sort of driving along it's effortless there's no sound at all there's no bangs there's no you know scrapes there's no nothing it's like driving a brand new car and I, you know this is really a new car it's what it's the newest car i've ever owned in my entire life and it's like it's just bliss it's it's that the only thing that's rattling is the GoPro, and that's the only thing that's rattling. <laughs> Everything else is just, it's just so peaceful in here, it's lovely. It's automatic, six speed, so you know you can do just the automatic mode, you can go into sports, tip up and down the gears as you want, but this isn't really that car, it isn't a sports car at all, so it's just, this is the car I was after, this is what I wanted. I wanted it to be this, relaxing and you didn't need to do anything to it and you don't need to you know shout because it's too loud you don't need to be uncomfortable it's just so nice i'm so glad i went with my gut instinct to get a newer shape of what i've already had because i loved the gs's of the you know previous era i had five of them <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie i've had five gs's including you know the aristo i had five of them this i knew it was going to be good but not this good it's fucking unbelievable it's just so quiet <laughs> i can't believe how quiet it is they know how to make a car lexus i tell you they really do they know how to do it i tell you so although this isn't my first drive in the car it's basically my third the feelings are still strong you know the feelings are still you know there in my gut like oh my god this is so nice and i'm just looking around the, the, the you know quality of the leather it's just you know when you put your arm on the armrest it's so comfortable it's unreal it is that good that you know i review cars quite a lot if i'm honest and i get in this and you know people would you know go past it and go to a mercedes or go to this or go to that but this is it for me this is fucking cool this is like the nuts in my books obviously it's the three liter v6 engine as well so I looked through the, you know, MPG because, you know, a couple of people in the comments would probably be like, oh, I thought you were going to get a diesel as a day and blah, blah, blah. But, you know, from my previous experience of a three litre in the older shape GS, it wasn't that bad, if I'm quite honest. And I, I only ever do like, you know, short trips. So I never really needed the need for a diesel. And this was, you know, 27 ish miles to the gallon round town that this is getting. And that's perfectly fine with me. That's that's perfect. You know, I've I've been in, you know, diesels that are getting thirty. So why would I pay for out for a diesel? The diesels, are, you know, you can't get a diesel in this. Don't get me wrong. You can get a hybrid, but they're ridiculous money. I did look at them, but 
it's just not worth buying in my opinion they, they've got a lot more depreciation to go and I've heard horror stories about the batteries needing to be replaced on those as well so I didn't really want to go for one of those plus they were a lot more money than this was you know this is really it. this really is so nice I'm sort of gobsmacked at how nice this car is and is a little bit overlooked by the uh, general public I think I don't really see any of them especially around my area as well everyone's got a Mercedes on finance or whatever but that wasn't really you know I like Mercedes and I wanted to buy a Mercedes on finance don't get me wrong but it wasn't you know something that I would financially think was a good idea so I thought you know a used car newish would be good enough it's done this, it's done its depreciation it ain't gonna go any further let's be honest and a lot of people that watch the videos will know full well a big armrest and I'm sold I've bought the car in my head already and this one has a huge armrest in it so yeah I'll pull over and you know get a little outside shot for you all because I think it's needed now guys I know a lot of people are gonna be a little bit like what's going on here you know I thought you're gonna get some drift car I thought you're gonna get before you get that this is my daily. This is the car that, you know, I will take to every show under the sun that I will be able to fill with t-shirts that I can go and, you know, show you guys, you know, the quality and, the, you know, the products that I do. And it will help me getting around. I'll be able to, you know, shoot to wherever I fancy comfortably, happily, you know, no messing around, no fucking having to, you know, change gear and stuff. And I know it's only the small things, but... When you're shooting cars all day, the last thing you want to do is get in something that's loud, low, uncomfortable, and have to change gear after you know driving, you know, cars with ridiculous clutches and stuff. Don't get me wrong, it's all a good laugh, but my personal car, I just want it to be comfortable. And I really just think that I've hit the nail on the head there. I, I really have. I think I've fucking hit the nail on the head. Yeah, there it is. 55 plate, 2005-2006, Lexus GS300. Um, happy is an understatement. Yes, it's very, very dirty, don't get me wrong, but... My God, I am so happy. It's got bird poo on it and everything. Oh, look how bad like the brake dust is on the front in comparison, but it's all you know stuff we can clean tomorrow, that doesn't matter. I'm just so happy about this car. Ridiculously happy. So guys, obviously I'll be doing a couple more videos on this car before, you know, I do a review and stuff. I'll do a cleaning one tomorrow probably of it all. Yeah, stupidly happy. Anyway guys, I hope you like the new car. I hope you like the video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.